Welcome back to another video, episode 31. Here on the YouTube platform, we do take on the Fijian team. Corbin Sims is in their team. They've got a pretty solid squad for the World Cup. Kevin Magama, Tarek Sim, Corbin Sim, and a couple other players. We haven't trained our team team to a couple of days ago, like last week I think, or six to five days ago I think it would have been, and here we go again, I'm going to try and hit that up right if we can, not going to be able to, ruin. Who had that ball? I think that was Corbin Sim. James Maloney. We had a pretty easy run to the campaign. Try and spread it out here. Nosy team. And Damien Cook will get that one. It took a little bit of time, they wanted to confirm it. They do confirm it. Two side steps off him, three side steps. And then he puts the ball down. So there's the first try for the Australian team. And that was a pretty good kick, a pretty good conversion. And I've got to say, it's not looking good for the Fiji and brothers. Gillette, Matt Gillette, Matt Gillette, and Aki Yawada is in their team as well, I forgot about him, him and that's another knock on, Will Chambers gets them back up the field, here goes the Australian team, in the tackle they'll probably take the two two here but him taking the kick here some kind of kick he gets it he nails it he does nail it, and it's eight points to nil. Australia playing tactical game with the Mick Potter team. One, release. A little bit of a glitch there, I would say. Saying knock on Jonathan first step. Uh, 
Oh, one mistake. Yeah. And that's pretty funny because they just let. Nice work there by Andrew DeFeeder. And Jonathan Thurston. I know why they took the two points now. Jonathan Thurston. <laughs> And then he chucks that one out of the air. What is he doing? And then they lose that one. The Fiji and Bali Army cannot do anything at this time being. Knocks out one and caught a forward pass there. I'm very shocked. And he got the rubber off. Thought he might have would have went for something else. Like a rubber kick or something. Then he can go for that. And they're like, nope. Shannon Boyd. Ah, uh, that one. Thanks. Mitchell Pierce, they are nearly through. Three, nearly Bali Army base. team. They need something to keep them back into this game. do hold them up in that one and I'm pretty lucky to do that too then that was one of the issues I think and here we go again the best play we wanted there. There I thought maybe Jonathan Verton would have went over the top. He didn't decide to do that. And it is play on here. to get away check but wanted to get away from the from that side line. I 
And now his boy needed that one. And he gets it. Now Jonathan first, then we'll have this one to kick. He's done pretty well in that conversion there. It's 18 points to nil. Another completed thing they just got there. Say from the from the Fijians, just un or well, I would say unexperienced, just not better than what Australia are. Australia have always been a dominant team, and as you can see, they are, they still are to this day. And, uh, it's very hard to, to come up a team like Australia. He chips it. He chips it. And that would have been a perfect play there by the Aussies. But the Aussies, somehow he just chips it. And he chips it pretty good there. There, and they give it away again. Mitchell Pierce, what is he doing? The Australian team saying, what about the forward pass? And the referee said, what forward pass? <laughs> the Fijians. A pretty good outfit, but it's not going to be enough here for the Australian team. I'm going to pass this one on to Jonathan Furton. Furton. Furton does the chip and chase. He's going to do another one. He does two. He knew he had to. And that's what he does. He does that really well. That, that chip and chase. He does it twice. Just to make sure his team gets over the line. And then puts the ball down. Some beautiful play. By. The man Jonathan Thurston. In the green gold jumper. And like we said, we're well, only going to see Jonathan Ferton try and do the chip and chase. We knew that. We knew he's a good talent out doing that. We knew that going into the into this World Cup. A lot of people said no, he wouldn't do it. A lot of people said he wouldn't do it. We just proved them people wrong. And there is full time. They win three in a row. They do win three in a row. 
you know, Shaolin Tame, you can say they pretty much had it easy, well, I would imagine, and that will be it, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you are new to the Big Dog Corner channel. If you're just here to check out the content, check out more videos, go to playlist, check them out, do whatever you want. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, that's fine, I understand. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys, I hope you guys enjoy.